draw. Yeah. You know, for me, it's not even close. I wholeheartedly agree with you and, 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 and lean on to the negative side. I think he's a big time fraud. And, it's, and I say it with ease. OK. And the reason I say it with ease is because, again, I spoke out of turn a little bit earlier because there was new evidence that was propping up. It wasn't just the same old evidence. So let me be clear about that. But more importantly than anything else, more so than anything else, it's one thing if you win, you stop there. Yeah. You know, you make a miraculous comeback. No, he kept competing, even in the in the face of accusations of a fraud, of cheating, and things of that nature. Yeah, all the he way, still remember, kept going out there. until 2010 he competed when he finished third. That's right. It's like you, you kept pushing it and pushing it because you just That's can't right. give it up. And finally, right. you saw it, and everybody else is saying, well, we got to stop this. Right. So go ahead. But the thing about it is is that you're getting on USADA, not you, but he yeah. was getting on USADA because they wouldn't go away. When in reality, they wouldn't go away because Lance Armstrong never went away. He wouldn't go and away. And so as a result of that, when you consider the fact that he never went away, which to yep. me makes you an incredible fraud. Because what you do, it's almost like the person out there that's religious but or, or claims to be religious but hides behind their religion to sort of gloss over the transgressions that they commit on a day-to-day -day basis. That's a good and then when you, to me, that's what he was doing. And I think that when you when you take that into account, I don't struggle the way that you do to call him a fraud because clearly he was in that regard based on the mountain of evidence right. that continues to build against him. Okay, there is no doubt about it.